Hey guys, what's up? So in this one, we are going to go ahead and delete a contact here. So we delete it on the server and then also remove it from the UI without reloading this page. So what you're going to do is actually set up an icon to delete here. So you're going to go to the application, you go to your layout list and you go to where we have the phone number. So on the right of the phone number, I'm going to have a button. So this button is going to have a, an icon inside. So inside I can have an icon. So I'm going to give it a name. Name equals, I'm going to have delete. Let's see if you have trash. Trash. Yeah, let's see how trash will look like. So now if you go back to the application, it's going to reload up. It's going to need to fetch stuff. You see we have the trash icon. Okay. So I believe we can use this. So let me make it a little bit red. So I'm going a color to the button so color equals red okay so let's see how that looks hmm. i think it's pretty big so let me use a delete one <laughs> let me also make it small so here we can have size size can be tiny anyway okay so let's work with this so now we want when we click here we want to be able to delete this item that we click on Okay, so let me go to the API so we look at the documentation and the endpoint is here. So as it loads, we will need to set up an action to actually delete the contact from the from the server. So for us to do that, let's first add here. Let's add an on click. So we're gonna have on click. On click is gonna be equal to something like delete contact. So we're going to want to pass the contact ID here. So what you can do is create an anonymous function in here and then call delete contact and pass it the id so the id is going to be contact.id so we can get contact.id there so let's create this action so let's create this function here so i'm going to be sending it here so in this state i'm going to send the contact and also this action so this action is going to be delete contact and in the container so here so that should be contacts index we can have delete contact here so we can have const delete contact so we are passing it the id so we're gonna need to to pick it so once we have that now so once we have that let's console log it down so let's console log the id okay so let's pass it to the component down so we can pass delete contact here equals delete contact okay so let's console log it so we need to pass it to the component so we can pass delete contact equals delete contact so here in the ui we want to make sure we are getting it so we get it not from the state so we want to get it from let's see just here so we get the delete contact there now if you go back to the application see it is up i'm gonna open up the console and go to console so now if I click on one, you see we get 45, we get the IDs. Okay, so now we want to make an API call with this ID to the backend. So on our simple backend, when we have delete contact, you see the URL takes in the what to delete. Okay, so what we do, let's set up an action. So we'll go to our context and then actions, and we are going to have delete contact. So delete contact.js. So it's going to be a function to so export default. It's going to take in the ID. So it's the default function. It's going to take in the ID. It's also going to be bringing in the dispatch because we want to dispatch the reducer. So let's get the dispatch there. Okay, so what we do here, we are going to first dispatch like uh, delete loading. So let's do that. So dispatch type equals delete contact loading because we want to actually disable the the button when we are deleting a specific contact so we need to create that type so in the constants action types here we can have something similar so we can have export const delete loading equals delete loading so i'm gonna duplicate this then we have delete delete contact success then we'll have one for the error all right so once we have this here we need to make sure we are importing it correctly then we want to make an api call to this endpoint so the way we do that here is we're going to use our axios instance so you can do axios instance 
we don't we don't have the history here so we can just go ahead and do dot delete so we want to delete the resource we're going to use the back picks here so we want to delete and the, the the endpoint is slash contacts slash the id so we're going to use these back ticks so we're going to use this and then pass our id so of course we can have it then then that's going to give us the response so once we get the response we're going to be dispatching so we're going to be dispatching delete success so type it's going to be contact delete success so our server if we if we take a look you see it sends us to 204 so it doesn't actually send us the id so what we could do for us to be able to remove it from the ui is on the payload for us we are going to actually send the id because we'll be having it in the application here so we're going to send the id so if there is an error we can also send it so we can have a catch it's going to be an error so in this case we're going to be dispatching going to be dispatching contact delete error let me make sure this is contact delete okay so i believe this should do it but for the error we can actually send an actual error because normally it will be descriptive so we're going to check if the error is coming from the server by checking error.response so if that's the case we'll send error.response.data otherwise we will send our could not connect so we can come over here and here instead of doing this so i'm actually going to rename this to handle delete contact then let me make sure it is called that then here we can call our action so we can say delete contact and then pass it the id which we have and then we need to pass a dispatch so i believe we have the dispatch already yeah, we're gonna pass the contact dispatch which we get from our global context all right so now if i come here to the application it's gonna load and when i click on 44 and we go to our network okay so i'm gonna click on this contact here so this will be this one here so when i click on it you see we make a request to the delete 16 so it goes ahead when you take a look at the response when we examine the response you will see that it sends us let me try to bring it up so let's go to the response okay so if you if you actually take a look you see we are making a request to 16 and since the server is sending us a 204 it won't be sending us the response down here so what you can do is here in the code we are going to console log which status code we are getting in the delete so here we can do a console log here so that's gonna be rest.status i believe so also i'm gonna do a console log on the error just so we know what exactly is happening in this action so this can be error dot risk so it should be error so let me open up the console and try deleting this one so nothing is happening and yeah so when it's deletes you see we get 204 meaning that we are here on res.status we are actually deleting it okay so what you can do is in the reducer we are going to handle for delete contact success so we can do this so i'm gonna have i'm gonna have another case so this one is gonna be for delete contact success okay so once we have the delete contact success we want to filter out the contacts that we have so actually guys make sure you keep the state because we don't want to override other reduce the other initial states so, so what we do is on the context on the context on the context <laughs> so what we do is, is on the context data we want to filter out the existing contacts and remove the one we just deleted on the server so we can do contacts dot data dot filter so once when we filter we get an item so we want to return all the items where the item id is not equal to the payload so basically the payload is what we are sending here here as you can see so it's going to be the id so when it comes over here we want to filter out the existing contacts and remove that id 
okay so let's take a look again so it's gonna reload i'm going to click on joshua morgan so i'm gonna click here so you see whenever he's deleted from the server he's also deleted from the ui so i can click on let's see this name here so i can click there and it's removed good so maybe something else we can do is actually disable someone to click the button and maybe disable the whole list item when we are deleting it so when we start deleting so here when we start deleting and dispatch delete contact loading we can also add a payload so we can set this payload to the reducer so now in the in the reducer we can handle this delete contact loading so we can actually handle it like this so i'm gonna have the same thing so we can have delete contact loading okay so when we are loading we want to actually map through all the data that we have and then we want to add a deleting property on the the contact with the id that we are deleting so the way we do that is instead of using filter here i'm going to actually do this we are going to map so we're going to map so map takes in a function so what we do here is of course you can get the, the current item so what we do is inside here we want to check if the current item we are on is the one is equal to the, the current item we are on is equal to the the one with the id that we send and then we are going to add and, and deleting property on that item so the way we do that is we are going to check if item item dot id equals payload so if it's equals payload we want to return this very contact so we are going to return item okay so we are going to return item and then we are going to add another property so we're going to add deleting to true okay so we're going to spread all the other values of the item so otherwise we are going to return the item so here we can also return the item if the if the current the id that we pass in does not match any of does not match the other items so for that very for that very contact so for that very contact that we are deleting we are going to be adding one property deleting so otherwise we are going to return the other items as they are anyway so what you can do is actually add a property to that very item so i'm going to come to the list which is here and then where we are mapping through on each item i'm going to add a deleting i'm going to add a disabled prop so i'm going to set this one to contact dot deleting so deleting okay so if this is true then it's going to be disabled so let's first check if it actually let's first check if that actually works so i'm going to click on this ss so i'm going to click there and you see it's disabled okay so then after it goes to use the ui so yeah if i click on this one it's disabled and then after it leaves the ui disabled after the success leaves the ui i i hope that this gave you a way that you can update individual pieces of your state if you if you found the video useful please consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye